Yeah, this is the first Norwegian horror movie I've watched, and it's probably going to be one of the last ones until I watch the sequel. Welcome to Shows for Horror and Supreme. Today I'm talking about Dead Snow. Directed by Tommy Wakola, this horror comedy takes a bloody romp at the snowy mountain. And it's very weird. It sort of blends humor, folklore, and a bunch of other random stuff together to get a Nazi zombie movie. It is disgraceful. I mean, it just follows a group of friends that embark on a mountain vacation in a remote cabin, and they encounter a group of Nazi zombies. They rise from the snow, and they are searching for gold. So they're leprechaun zombie Nazis. Yeah. Yeah. And the friends find themselves having to fight for survival against a relentless horde of undead soldiers in the unforgiving wilderness. Now, I must say, Dead Snow reveals its very weird premise very quickly and it really revels in the fact that you know it is ridiculous and it does deliver a blood-soaked spectacle that pays a mask to both classic zombie films slash film and weird folklore and director Tommy Wakola really infuses the film with his just very wicked sense of humor like the guy seems like a cool dude but with a very thick sense of humor he sort of blends horror and comedy with a healthy dose of splatter which is One of those subgenres of horror, which not a lot of people know about, mainly because not a lot of people like it. And overall, the practical effects in this movie are top tier. They do deserve a mention because the film really embraces the practical gore effects that pay a mask to the golden era of horror. And the visceral, over-the-top violence featuring dismemberments and very creative kills really adds to the film's entertainment value for true horror fans and just true gore film. Like... People who like gore, you're going to like Dead Snow. And the film's ensemble cast, led by uh, Martin, I'm not going to try and pronounce his actor's name because it's just difficult for me, but he does embrace the horror comedy tone with just an, a really energetic performance and so does the rest of the cast. And the characters navigate through the snowy landscape with just a mix of terror and humour. Like They always crack a joke every now and then and it is great. And that really contributes to the campy charm of the movie. And Wakola does cleverly just incorporate Norwegian folklore into the narrative. It adds a unique cultural twist into the zombie subgenre. And the Snowy Mountain setting really does enhance the isolation and just like claustrophobia of the movie. It does create a creepy atmosphere, but at the same time, this is a comedy, so it's kind of hard to like really work with that. And the soundtrack does just feature a mix of like Norwegian music and energetic scenes that does add to the film's pacing, but Wakola's directorial choices did kind of make it a bit weird. And his very intensive camera work does a playful approach to this movie, I guess. But overall, it did really contribute to my enjoyment of the movie. I mean, overall, Dead Snow is a ridiculous zombie movie. It's got Nazis, zombies, and just a bunch of random guys in the snow in one movie. And it actually works, surprisingly. (laughs) So yeah, if you like humour, folklore, and gore, all shoved together into a gleefully entertaining package, you may like Dead Snow. No, it doesn't really take itself too seriously, and the film does succeed in delivering a memorable and also bloody expedition into the undead mayhem. And for those seeking a mixture of just horror and humour against a snowy backdrop, this does offer just, like a very fun experience, I guess. So if you're into that, Watch the movie, but until next time, thank you for watching this video. I'm going to go now. Have you enjoyed our time in the snow? Because I haven't, because I hate snow. But until next time, I'm going to go. That rhymed once again. I, I'm awesome. I don't know at what. I'm awesome at rhyming, I guess, so. So goodbye.